the Carolina Panthers made headlines this week with a shocking announcement. Rookie quarterback Bryce Young is headed to the bench. After just two games, head coach Dave Canales decided to shake things up, naming veteran Andy Dalton as the starter for their upcoming matchup against the Las Vegas Raiders. This unexpected move sent shockwaves through the league, raising questions about Young's development and the Panthers' direction. Young, the number one overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, has looked overwhelmed at times, throwing for just 244 yards, one touchdown, and three interceptions. While it's still early in the season, the Panthers clearly felt the need for a change, hoping that Dalton can provide a much-needed spark. Dave Canales, in his first year as Panthers head coach, knew this decision wouldn't be taken lightly. Benching a number one overall pick, especially one with Young's pedigree, is a bold move for any coach, let alone one still establishing himself. However, Canales clearly believes it's the right move for the team, both in the short and long term. In his press conference, Canales emphasized that this is not a condemnation of Young's abilities or potential. He acknowledged that Young is still learning and adjusting to the speed and complexity of the NFL game. Canales's decision is a gamble, no doubt. If Dalton can steady the ship and lead the Panthers to some wins, it could buy Young valuable time to develop and learn from the sidelines. Coming out of Alabama, Bryce Young was hailed as a generational talent, a quarterback with the potential to transform a franchise. However, the transition to the NFL has been anything but smooth for Young, who has faced a steep learning curve in his first two games. Young's struggles are partly due to the challenges of adjusting to a new system, new teammates, and a significantly higher level of competition. He's also playing behind a shaky offensive line that has struggled to protect him, giving him little time to throw. While it's too early to hit the panic button on Young, his early struggles are a reminder that even the most talented quarterbacks need time and patience to develop. The Panthers are hoping that this benching will serve as a valuable learning experience, allowing Young to observe the game from a different perspective and come back stronger. The Carolina Panthers traded a King's Ransom to move up to the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, sending multiple first-round picks and star-wide receiver DJ Moore to the Chicago Bears. It was a move that signaled their unwavering belief in Bryce Young, their conviction that he was the missing piece, the franchise quarterback they had been searching for. The early returns, however, have been far from promising. Young's struggles have cast a shadow over the Panthers' season, raising questions about the wisdom of their aggressive draft day trade. The pressure is mounting on Young to live up to the hype, to justify the enormous investment the Panthers made in him. The Panthers knew they were taking a risk by trading up for Young. They were betting on his potential, his ability to develop into a superstar. The Panthers are hoping Young can buck that trend, but only time will tell if their gamble will pay off. Section 5. A History of High Expectations the NFL is a quarterback-driven league, a reality that places immense pressure on young signal callers, especially those chosen with the coveted number one overall pick. History is replete with examples of quarterbacks who were drafted amidst fanfare and hype, only to falter under the weight of expectations. Some, like Jamarcus Russell and Ryan Leaf, became synonymous with draft busts, their careers flaming out spectacularly. Others, like Peyton Manning and John Elway, overcame early struggles to achieve legendary status. Bryce Young now finds himself at a crossroads, facing the same scrutiny and skepticism that has followed countless quarterbacks before him. The Panthers' decision to bench him, while undoubtedly difficult, could be the best thing for his long-term development. The Panthers are hoping that Young's story will mirror that of Manning or Elway, quarterbacks who used early adversity as fuel for future greatness. Only time will tell which path Young's career will take. Section 6. Growing Pains Under Center Bryce Young's first two games in the NFL have been a trial by fire. The speed of the game, the complexity of defensive schemes, and the constant pressure from opposing pass rushers have all contributed to his struggles. He's looked uncomfortable at times, his throws lacking their usual zip and accuracy. The interceptions, uncharacteristic of his college days, have been particularly concerning. The Panthers knew there would be growing pains with Young that he would need time to adjust to the NFL game. However, the extent of his struggles has been surprising, even alarming to some. The offensive line hasn't done him any favors, consistently failing to provide adequate protection. 
These early struggles are a reminder that even the most talented quarterbacks need time and patience to develop. The Panthers are hoping that Young's benching will serve as a valuable learning experience, allowing him to observe the game from a different perspective and come back stronger. Section 7. Facing the Music, Keeping the Faith In the aftermath of the Panthers' decision to bench him, Bryce Young has handled himself with maturity and professionalism. He's acknowledged his struggles, taking ownership of his mistakes without making excuses. Young's positive attitude and work ethic have impressed his teammates and coaches, who have rallied around him during this difficult time. They've praised his leadership qualities, his willingness to learn, and his determination to improve. They've emphasized that this is just a temporary setback, a bump in the road on his journey to becoming a franchise quarterback. Young's faith has also been a source of strength for him during this challenging time. He said that he views this benching as an opportunity to grow, both as a player and as a person. Section 8 The Dalton Era Take 2 Andy Dalton, the man tasked with replacing Bryce Young, is no stranger to the Carolina Panthers. He served as their backup quarterback last season, starting one game when Young was sidelined with an injury. While he might not possess the same upside as Young, Dalton brings a wealth of experience and a calming presence to the huddle. Dalton, a 13-year veteran, has seen it all during his NFL journey. He's known for his accuracy, his ability to read defenses, and his leadership qualities. While he might not be the long-term answer for the Panthers, he's a capable quarterback who can provide stability and guidance for their young offense. The Panthers are hoping that Dalton can provide a spark for their struggling offense, that he can help them establish a rhythm and find the end zone more consistently. Consistently. Section 9. A Veteran Presence okay. Andy Dalton's arrival as the starting quarterback brings a different dynamic to the Carolina Panthers locker room. His experience, having played over a decade in the NFL, commands respect from his teammates, many of whom are just starting their careers. His presence is a calming influence, a source of knowledge and guidance for a young team navigating a difficult start to the season. Dalton's leadership style is more understated than some, but his work ethic and preparation are evident to everyone in the organization. He's a student of the game, spending countless hours studying film and game plans. The Panthers are hoping that Dalton's veteran presence will rub off on their young players, particularly their young quarterback, Bryce Young. It's a valuable learning experience for Young, one that could pay dividends for his development in the long run. Section 10. Shifting Dynamics in the Locker Room The decision to bench Bryce Young while made with the team's best interests in mind inevitably creates a ripple effect within the locker room. The dynamics shift, the hierarchy adjusts, and players are left to process the change and its implications. For some, it's a chance to step up, to prove their worth with increased playing time. For others, it's a time for reflection, a reminder of the competitive nature of the NFL and the constant pressure to perform. The Panthers' leadership group, both players and coaches, face the challenge of maintaining unity and focus amidst this transition. They must ensure that Young feels supported, that he understands this is not the end of his journey, but rather a detour. The locker room is a microcosm of the team's overall health, a barometer of its morale and resilience. The Panthers' ability to navigate this quarterback controversy with grace and maturity will be crucial to their success, both in the short and long term. Section 11. The Future of the Franchise The Carolina Panthers' decision to bench Bryce Young has sent shockwaves through the NFL, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the franchise's future. The move, while presented as a temporary measure to jumpstart a struggling offense, raises questions about Young's development, the team's direction, and the long-term plan for success. The coming weeks will be crucial for the Panthers, a defining period that could shape their trajectory for years to come. Andy Dalton's performance as the starting quarterback will be under intense scrutiny. Can he provide the stability and leadership the Panthers so desperately need? Can he elevate the play of those around him and lead the team to victories? The Panthers are at a crossroads, their short-term and long-term goals seemingly at odds. The coming weeks will reveal whether this calculated risk will pay off or whether the Panthers will be left to grapple with the consequences of a decision that could define their future.